Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 3rd of April 1882, the American outlaw Jesse James was shot dead by fellow gang member Robert Ford. James had been a famous Confederate guerrilla fighter during the Civil War. In the years following the Union's victory, he'd moved into criminality and soon became America's most wanted outlaw thanks to a series of high-profile bank robberies and other hold-ups. As a train robber, James and his gang rarely robbed passengers. This may have led to their popular association with the legend of Robin Hood, who was famous for stealing from the rich to give to the poor. However, there's no evidence that the James gang actually shared their loot with anyone but themselves. Despite their early success, by 1881 the gang was falling apart. Many members had fled or been killed or arrested, and so James was forced to ally with new gang members. In January 1882, one of his new associates, Robert Ford, met with Missouri Governor Thomas T. Crittenden and agreed to kill James in return for a full pardon for his own crimes and a $10,000 reward. On the morning of the 3rd of April, shortly before leaving their safe house to rob the Platte City Bank, James noticed a dusty picture on the mantelpiece. As he stood on a chair and turned to clean it, Robert Ford shot him in the back of the head from virtually point-blank range. Ford later presented himself to the police, and justice moved quickly. On the same day, Ford was charged with murder, pled guilty, was sentenced to death by hanging, and was then granted a full pardon by Governor Crittenden, as agreed. 